Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. Today we're going to play the playoffs uh, for the first time in the Skybet Championship. If you've been um, following uh, the previous episodes, you'll know that we've been spending now three seasons in the Skybet Championship. And last season we finished like in a mid-table position, I think it was 16th or something. So I was very surprised to see us in the playoff uh, zone by November this season and we've actually finished third so we're going to play the playoffs um we draw swansea who finished sixth uh, and we're going to play two legs against swansea and then we're going to play hopefully we're going to play a, a, a final as well uh but we'll see see if we can get through swansea first so nothing must change at all um uh, since the last episode so i keep just kept going with those players as you can see, top goal scorers, we have three of them, which means they combined scored 33 goals, which, which is fantastic. Uh, Antonio Santos is actually signed for Colorado for next season, so we're going to lose him. But yeah, these two hopefully here to stay, Mark Dodds and Miles Shiny, unless I find someone better for next season, but I doubt. Anyway, just one small change, and that is that um, actually quite recently, so in April, I demoted our backup center back alan jones um he was he's only 17 i think Let's see if i can spot him yeah alan jones 17 um i demoted him to the end of 23s and i promoted from the end of 23s gareth batch to be our new center back backup and he's playing because gordon harkness is currently suspended so he's going to play for this first leg of the playoffs I've already uh, made the tactics and chosen the team so we can make uh, this episode a bit more speedy. And in the usual playoff fashion, we're going to make the episode, try to condense as much into the episode as possible by just showing you the, the matches, not showing you any bits in between. So let's jump right into a match. I've already selected everything, so it makes it really easy to jump into the match and then I'll talk through the players on the pitch as the match is occurring. We're playing the first leg at the Swansea Stadium and the second leg we will play at home. This is the, the squad here, we're going to be playing with our uh, preferred goalkeeper, he's been playing pretty much 99.9% .9 of our matches, Tom Yates has been doing very well for us. And the rest of the players uh, most of them are first team players, except obviously Gareth Batch and the centre back. Um, and I think everyone else, yeah, all of them are our usual first team players. Andre, the for the right wing back, uh, he's been injured for a, for a little while, so his performance is um, somewhat dependent on how well he's been able to recover from that injury. But um, yeah, the rest of the defense, as per usual, the weakest um, members of our squad are our midfielders. So the halfback, Alan Jardine, and also the box-to-box, -box, Mike Davis. They are by far the weakest members of our squad. Uh, and their, their backups are also weak as well. And the attack is not too bad. We've got some really good players in the first squad, but also pretty good backups as well. So... Um, Chaos is is the backup player for him is Finley and Finley is quite good he actually I think he scores more goals than Chaos to be fair um, really good backup that one and the same thing with Dodds his backup is Craig Noon who's also a very good player for us so it looks like we're losing one nil they are having equal chances but they've been able to convert them whilst we have not now of course the question is are we going to be able to survive uh, the playoffs first of all but then if we do get promoted are we going to be able to survive in the Premier League um, yeah so so that would be something to think about because finance wise as I've shown on Patreon and also in the previous episode, we are on, I think it's 78k per week. <laughs> There's no way, you know, we're going to we're gonna have to improve 
our budget massively to be able to cope with the Premier League. That will require some investment from the board. So I'm hoping either the board will invest or that our club will be acquired somehow by an investor. It'll be exciting to play in the Premier League, I think, once we do it. Playing against all the big teams, Man United, Man City, Arsenal, Liverpool, Chelsea, Tottenham, uh, all of those big teams. It'll be fab. Now, I'm slightly concerned that we haven't seen our team attack in a highlight. Now, this could be it. Dodds is on his own, but he's got a penalty. And Miles Shiny is going to take it. Here goes Miles and score. Well done. Okay, right. Not, not all is lost. We're drawn again. Back level. Fantastic stuff. Now, um, yeah, so improving improving the the finance of our club is something that quite desperately needs to be done. Don't think there is much I can personally do to affect that, other than staying within the budget. I've been trying to improve the club as much as possible, so I guess part of part of the reason we are in debt is because I've used any capital that we had to improve our club. So we've improved our training facilities, we've improved all of our youth systems. Um, we're hopefully going to have leagues next year for the youth. I'm hoping that will happen because it. I thought it would happen this year, for, for, but for some reason it didn't. But we are category three now, so we should be having youth leagues happening. Okay, so Craig Newton is on a pitch now instead of Dodds, which changes the dynamic a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, no real results from that just yet. Of course, we're going to lose Chaos next season because he's only on loan. Uh, but he's the only player from our main players that um, we're going to lose due to, you know, being a lone player. Like I mentioned earlier, Antonio Santos, his, um, he has um, agreed a contract with Colorado in the MLS. So he's going to be moving to the States and leaving us. So we'll have, we'll have to invest in that position next season for sure. It might be a draw here. Let's see what these last few minutes. Of course, we're playing at home next next leg, and that will make hopefully make matters a little bit easier for us. And we will also have, I think, Gordon Harkness back, so we'll have both of our centre backs. Uh, they have a great relationship because they've been playing for years. Also, something I'm looking forward to is if we get promoted to the Premiership and we keep Brad Hills in our squad, this will mean that Brad Hills will have played in every single league with us, from the Van Rama North to the Premiership. So that will be a massive achievement to have the same player going up. Is it like seven leagues, six leagues? all the way from bottom to top with you in the club. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to run quickly through to the next leg of the playoffs and I'll catch you there. See you in a bit. Okay, and we're back for the second leg of this playoff. As you can see, I look different because the day's gone by. I've actually went away, had a bit of a break and went for a friend's house for dinner, which was lovely. But now we are going to complete this um, second leg. I'm actually going to change this. For some reason that went to attacking anyway um yes so 
we are forced to make a few changes to this lineup. Well, actually, I made two changes by, by choice, uh, but we are forced to change out Andre and have Richard South because Andre has picked up an injury, injury. But that's not too bad because Richard South does play often. Uh, we are still playing Gareth Batch because I hadn't realized that Gordon Harkness still had another match of suspension. I'm hoping this is the last match of his suspension, but I'm not entirely sure how long it lasts. Up. I don't even know how to check how long a suspension lasts. But anyway, if you know, let me know. Uh, we swapped around Simon. Uh, we took Mike out and put Simon in. That's just a rotation thing. We always kind of do that kind of rotation. Now, the two gambles that I'm taking is uh, Finley and Noon. Uh, so I've taken out Chaos and Dodds to um, rest them. As you can see, Chaos needs a rest. Dodds is actually injured. So I'm hoping if we get through, through to, the final, to the final, I'm hoping K um, Dodds will be available, but I'm not entirely sure he will. Anyway, we are playing with Finley and Craig, but they're very competent backup players. So I don't have an issue with that at all. Let's go straight into the match. I am playing a couple of youth players on the bench because we have so many injuries and suspensions and stuff that it, I just needed to get these two guys. So Noble and Hayes, they're both youth players. Noble is, I think, um, left, uh, left winger and uh, Hayes is a shadow striker. Hayes is actually very good. He could rival easily, I think, maybe the, the senior squad players, but his teamwork is not up to scratch. And obviously, especially in the Shadow Striker position, you do need to have good teamwork. Um, so that's the reason he's not in the first team. Still developing, still being mentored to develop all of that. Now we need a good result here to be able to play the final. Whoever that may be with. Either Crystal Palace or Newcastle. I forgot to check which one of those is having the upper hand at the moment, but hopefully the dugout will give us updates. I'm hoping. And noon here with a header. So that's the its eighth goal of the season. I'm not sure if that only counts. I think that counts all goal competitions. And if that's the case, he's only three goals behind Dodds. Nice. Okay, so we just need to keep it up now. 17 minutes in. Um, now, it is obviously concerning that Dodds will miss the final if we get through to the final. But uh, again... We can see that if Dodds doesn't play, that Craig Noon is up to scratch, which is fine. Now, as far as our next opponent, uh, that would be either Newcastle or Crystal Palace. We, I don't think we've managed to win a match against Newcastle yet. We've, I think we draw the we drew the first one, and we lost the second one. I think, if I remember correctly. And Crystal Palace, I'm pretty sure we won one and we drew one. So in principle, wow, Craig Noon. So in principle, Crystal Palace would be the best opponent for us. But that will obviously depend on the outcome of that semi-final. Nice, lovely pass as well from Brad Hills. Okay, so that is the first half. You can see Swansea is... Um, Theoretically p p playing better than us, but not converting as much as we are. So they have a chance here. Goes wide. You can see the difference between Brad Hills and Batch. 
That is definitely a liability. I do hope that Gordon Harkness comes back next match because we need to have a really good defense for that. Well, as good defense as we can for that match. Ooh, poor decision there by Richard South. This could be quite dangerous, but Tom Yates has got it covered. Okay, let's... Um, let's make some decisions here. Now, he's also a youth, I've just no noticed. But, uh, never know, so, and you never know how these youths are going to react. Sometimes they use this as, uh, as an opportunity to really show, them, show themselves. So this could be one of those cases where Harrison will play really well to try and impress myself and his colleagues. But the thing is, he's not as, obviously not as great as Richard South. But no worries, we've got two goal advantage at the moment. Let's um, see, substitution time. Let's bring in Neil and have him at the front and bring in Declan Wright. Now, Antonio Santos is very tired, so he's probably going to need a break. Well, depending how far away the next match is, he'll probably need a break. But Declan uh, is quite good with long range shots, so that could be that could be good actually for the next match to have someone with that ability. Okay, that's fine. Let's just keep it keep it under control. Nobody needs to watch that again. <laughs> okay, embarrassing. Um, right. So let's keep it under control. Now, we're going to have to have a major reform of this squad if we get promoted to the Premiership because these guys aren't going to be able to survive. The majority of these guys, especially the midfield. Okay, we made it. We made it to the next playoff by the skin of our teeth. And um, let's find out who we're playing against next. It looks like we're playing against Newcastle, so they are by far the hardest opponent. So I'm just going to progress forward and I'll catch you at the final. See you in a bit. And we're back for the final and we have actually taken a couple of weeks off. Um, so the first, le the second leg of the playoff against Swansea uh, was two weeks ago. And then we had one week of no matches. And then we're now on Sunday of this week. Uh, so I ended up doing a friendly with Newcastle in that gap week. Uh, we drew nil-nil. Actually, let me show you. Drew nil-nil and um, yeah, gave us a bit of a chance to scope it out. I'm sure they didn't play with a full strength squad and we certainly did not play with a full strength squad. Um, we played with pretty much all of the backup players. But we now got the first team players back on. So Tom Yates, Richard South, all typical, Brad Hills. Now, Gordon Harkness was back from his suspension, but he went and broke his back. <laughs> so he's out of action again. So we're playing with Scott Sh uh, Sheehan, um, which is great because he is the better of our backup centre-backs. He was on injury, so he was away uh, injured, but he's back now, so that's great. And he's got a bit of a relationship going with Brad Hills anyway, so that should help. A little bit of a rotation here in the midfield. And Chaos and Dodds are back. So everyone's rested. Everyone is um, feeling good. No one is in much... Um, no one is improving sharpness. No one is sharp. Okay, so I didn't notice this. Maybe I should have played more of my first team players in that friendly. Now, one fun fact of this, actually two fun facts of this, is that, first of all, we sold out Wembley for this match. 
which is great. I don't think we've ever sold out Wembley before. We've played at Wembley before for other playoffs, but we never sold out. The other fun fact is that Newcastle's goalkeeper is Vince. Remember, Vince was our youth goal, um, young goalkeeper from two or so seasons ago. To be fair, he was our backup, but he was good enough to now he would have been our main keeper. So it'll be interesting to see <laughs> the rivalry, rivalry here between Vince and us. So we had, in the season, I went and looked at the sh schedule. We drew against um, Newcastle in our previous match and we won in the first half of the season. 1-0. We have a penalty here. Tommy hates didn't save it, but it hit post, so we're whew, safe. Dodge that one. Oh, we haven't quite sold out. We got some empty seats. Are those empty seats? Yeah, I think they are. So it's not quite a sellout. Oh, that's such a good girl. Okay, that means we lo we're losing. But uh, it is a good goal. It's a brilliant goal. So that's a straight cross into the far, far post and there was no one there. So that's an Ezzy mistake. Isn't it? Okay, go. Shiny didn't wasn't able to maintain the ball. This could be another chance for Newcastle to score. And I think that's it. I think pff, any dream of being promoted this season I think it's over but we're going to try and come back from it we'll make some changes at half time I think this is not fair I don't think it's fair to do it before half time give the players a chance they obviously found a weakness there on that left side of the fence because that's where they're coming in every single time okay it's not a fourth yet could have been a fourth actually if that penalty had gone in. Oh, it's a shame that we're gonna finish on such a poor performance. You know, I would have loved for the guys to have had a, I know, a, a decent match for it, for the last match of the season. But it is what it is. Right, half time is come. Let's make some changes. I'm definitely going to have to change Mike and Gordon Batch now. He's got a yellow card, but I don't have anyone. Oh, actually, I could do this and get Finley. Get Finley in. Okay, let's see if that works. Let's see if we can pop in some goals. I think it's quite clear to see that Newcastle have got the upper hand, but we might still surprise everybody with some goals. Here comes Dodds. There's no one. Ooh, ooh, penalty. And it's Miles to. Here we go. So this is how Vince is going to prove himself. Is Vince going to defend? Our penalty. We missed. Same situation. They missed a penalty. We miss a penalty. 
Wow. I've never seen Miles miss a penalty, I don't think. Uh, maybe a few years ago he's missed one. He's been with us for a while, hasn't he? Tommy Yates is having a really poor match. Okay, here's another chance. And it's a goal, but it's disallowed. Oh, never mind. Handball, apparently. Loads of yellow cards. And we're going to go out with no goals and a heavy defeat. This looks like a... Okay, I thought this was this was going to lead into a goal, but it took a long time, but nothing came of it. Okay, and that's it. We're going to remain in the Skybet Championship, but hopefully the goal for next season is to not need to play the playoffs, to maybe finish second, who knows, even first. So we're going to try and somehow get more income in and also um, improve our squad a little bit. Oh, there we go. So we've got 4.8 million in the bank. There we are. So that's just the usual sum that we get for participating in the Skybet Championship. It helps, but it doesn't, you know, it's not enough to keep us afloat the whole season. It's certainly not, not enough to get any decent signings in. But we'll see what the sponsors, sponsors do and all of that. And just to finish up the episode, let's look at our summary. So we finished third, uh, Newcastle ended up winning the playoff, as we've just seen. I must remember, uh, and can never really remember those 4-0 against Oxford, but Oxford finished 24th anyway, so it's not really a big achievement. We had less broadcast money, just slightly less broadcast money. Dot, centre, shiny, noon, Finley, yeah, all, all looks good there. The lineup, this is how we played for the majority of the season, and it's spot on. Fan player of the season, Tom Yates. He's probably going to be promoted to icon, club icon. Young player of the season, Emmanuel Eze. I completely agree with that. He's from my own youth setup. Andrew, the signing of the season. I would agree with that too. Goal of the season was Declan. Top goal of the season, Miles. Ended up winning against everyone else with 12 goals. One more than everyone else. I think Dodd scored 11 and Antonio scored 11 as well. Most assists, 9 for Dodds. Not that many, actually. Most player of the match awards for Tom Yates with 7. Highest average is also Tom Yates. And again, no surprises here when we have the halfback claiming the most passes completed per 90 minutes. Any inductions? No. Nope. Nobody been inducted this year into this best 11. That's all good. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh. It's the first time we have, like, a million or more for the transfer budget. Okay, this means that the board might be thinking about having some additional sources of income. So we have more, trans uh, way more transfer budget than usual. Way, way more transfer budget than usual. And a, a slight increase in our, in our wage budget, which is great. Let's see what they say about the expectations. They're still planning to expand the stadium. But they're only expecting us to fight bravely against re relegation. That doesn't make a lot of sense. As always, I try to remove these. Okay, we have to accept them. Fine. And I think I'm going to leave it there, to be honest. I'll do all the rest in the background. Oh, wait. Uh, Tommy Yates was in the team of the season. These are the actual awards. Yeah, team of the season, Tom Yates is the goalkeeper for that. The rest of it is all 
Burnley who won uh, the league and Norwich who came second. Tom Yates is being dubbed the player of the year. I was not expecting that. I was expecting him to be close. But wow, that's an achievement. And we're going to go where? To Algarve. Wow. Let's go to the Algarve. Confirm. Um, yeah, so I'll come back for the beginning of the next season or thereabouts. I'll catch you in the next one. We're going to play the Skybet Championship one more time and hopefully then get promoted. But yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the Patreon as well. Bye-bye.